Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the emissions on my Fox Body Mustang, the system, the air pump, all that fun stuff that goes into it, and how to remove it. Because I know some people need it for their states and where they live, but if you're building a race car like I am, there's no provisions for it, For first off, for the, the engine that I have, and second, I don't want it because even though it only robs like 5 horsepower, that's 5 horsepower I could have. <laughs> so, um, I'll be talking about getting rid of it and the different parts that go into it and the different valves and the different solenoids and stuff like that. So, I'm going to play the intro and then we'll get right on into it. Okay, so when removing the emission systems, I'm just gonna start with the air pump because it's like probably one of the biggest parts of it. So it is on the accessory drive and it just a couple bolts and it comes right off. So then it has this tube attached to it and there will be two vacuum lines located on this. Um, I forgot what it's called. We're gonna call it a solenoid for now. And then another solenoid right there. So let me show you where those vacuum lines are. And so those vacuum lines will be running from two solenoids on the passenger side of the car. And there's this one, and mine was gray, and then this guy right here. And those attach to those two solenoids I just showed you on the tube. So you want to disconnect all of that. All right, so moving back to this air pipe, one of the tubes goes to your heads, the back of your heads, and then the other tube goes to uh, air pipe to your exhaust. And I'll show you that real quick. Okay, and so here's the provision for the air tube that goes to your exhaust, and it comes from that point on your passenger side and up to that tubing. And so all you gotta do is take that off and plug it. This is my makeshift plug for now until I can get it welded. So on the back of your heads, you can plug these uh, air ports that lead to that tubing. And so I already have these and you can order them off LMR, but they're just little plugs that stick right into the cylinder head. Okay, so the guy that initially done this on my car to remove the smog system had just cut the tubing off and welded the top. The right way to do it is there's a plug that late model restoration sells and you would thread it right into this port on the engine. And I can show you on up set of heads the right way so let's see if it can focus so you see that there's a plug because these AFR 185 heads have a provision for the smog system but since we're not using it I plugged it so there's two plugs and you can see it right there that thread right into the cylinder head and then it blocks off that air pump system so you can do that that way okay and so then that completes the air pump system and you can rip this thing out and get rid of it So let's move on to the EGR system, which is this. This is your spacer plate that goes between your throttle body and your intake manifold and also has the EGR valve on the side. The EGR valve will have an electrical connection at the bottom and it has a vacuum port on the side that runs to your EGR solenoid. And since this vacuum line was missing on my car, I will have to link a picture to it because I can't show you because it was gone. <laughs> and that's why I'm deleting this because it wasn't working. And then on top of the spacer, there's two ports for these um, EGR lines. So on your heater tube, you're gonna have an EGR line and you'll have to block off that EGR line to make it work and it can just go straight through the heater tubes into your car. And the other side of the heater tube will go into your intake manifold, and I'll show you. So this is the other side of the heater tube that goes straight into your intake manifold, as you can see. So if you're using the stock manifold, you will have to plug this off. And so then the charcoal canister, which really doesn't need to be taken out. It doesn't rob horsepower. It doesn't really do anything bad. It just takes the fumes from your gas tank and then puts them through the charcoal canister and then back into your intake manifold. But since my intake manifold doesn't have a provision for this, I am going to be taking it out. And I don't think mine is doing what it's supposed to anyway because my car reeks of gas all the time anyway, no matter how good the AFRs are. So we're just going to get rid of it and there are a couple lines that go to it. Okay, so there are two lines that go to the top of the charcoal canister. There's one that's not hooked up and then there's one right there. And the one 
so this one that I can move goes straight to your gas tank and I will be disconnecting this for myself because I am getting rid of it but you don't have to but and then the other line goes straight to your intake manifold and I have that line right here and so this is the line that goes to your intake manifold and it has this solenoid on top of it as well that you will have to unhook with from the electrical connection and so this just runs from the charcoal canister to the solenoid to your intake manifold so if you are taking it off you're gonna have to plug the intake manifold and remove the charcoal canister which this really isn't something that you totally need to get rid of is actually makes the car smell a little bit better but since I don't think mine works anyway and I don't want to drill into my intake manifold I'm just going to get rid of it all right so the vacuum canister is off all it was was one eight millimeter bolt and then it just lifted up and pulled right out and it was as simple as that super super easy so you can see this line that goes straight to the gas tank I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet I don't know if I'm just going to totally disconnect it or put it around the fender well and locate it somewhere else okay and so now moving on we are going to be removing the solenoids that control all the smog and emissions stuff so we're gonna be removing the EGR solenoid that's on top and then the two um, air diverter solenoids at the bottom and then T or there's a T you see right there where my finger is that little T goes to the air diverter valves and then to the vacuum canister so we're gonna make it go straight through just to the vacuum canister and delete the two um, solenoids and then we'll be really really close to be getting all the smog junk out of the car So quick update, got the EGR solenoid unmounted, got the two diverter valve solenoids unmounted. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start unplugging. So I'm going to unplug it from the harness and then I'm going to, actually I'm just going to pull this whole, all these vacuum lines from here as one unit and then just uh, throw it away or something. And so I'm going to do the same things for those down there because both the vacuum lines are free and so I'm just going to unhook it from this thick thick vacuum line down here and then pull all of it away unconnect it from the electrical or from the harness and it should be good and then we'll start moving on to rerouting this vacuum line just straight to the vacuum canister Okay, so the solenoids are out and it's out of my way, ready to be thrown in the garbage, sold on eBay, whatever you do with this stuff. So this is the EGR and you can kind of see what it's doing. So there's the electrical to the harness and then the two lines that run to the, to the EGR valve and then to the manifold. So this one is off and it's unconnected to anything. And so here are the diverter valve solenoids and there's just a lot going on, but all of mine were pretty much broken anyway, and then the vacuum line that like ties it together just snapped off as soon as I touched it. So I just have pieces of vacuum line everywhere. This old brittle stuff did not last at all. But let me show you on the car, but this all came off good, and I will have a diagram showing which solenoids came off. Okay, so this is all gone. It's all freed up. Here's the connection to the EGR. And then here are the two connections to air diverter valves. And so what I'm just going to do is wrap them up with some electrical tape and tuck them away for right now and figure out what I'm going to do with them later or just leave them and somehow tie them to the harness so you can't see them. Or if I want to get real crazy, I can unpin them from the harness, but I don't know if I want to get that crazy. So um, what we're going to be doing next is here is the vacuum line with the check valve that goes straight to the vacuum canister and to the intake manifold so I will point it out right 
So this guy right here, this little elbow, goes straight to your vacuum canister inside the fender well. And so what we're going to be doing is hooking this guy back to this line with the check valve and rerunning it back to my intake manifold and that's how I'm going to set it up. Other pe You can do different things but this is just the way I'm going to do it because I want to keep the vacuum canister. So I'm going to be getting rid of this brittle stuff and just running a vacuum line to my new manifold. And so that's how I am going to do that. So all I'm going to be doing is taking one of these straight vacuum line connectors and connecting that elbow to the vacuum line with the check valve on it. And that is all I'm doing to make that work. And then later on when I get the engine in, I will be running that line with the vacuum or the check valve to the intake manifold. All right, so all my connections to the EGR and the air diverter valves are electrical taped off just so nothing weird gets in my harness. So I was able to get this vacuum line with the check valve and was able to put a straight vacuum line or vacuum connection to the one that goes to the vacuum canister and the check valve. So this is staying, this is all, this is all staying and it's uh, good for now, for me anyway. If it, you're doing it at home, you're gonna wanna take this all the way to your intake manifold. And here's the big pile of stuff that I took off. Uh, someone said it was like 10 pounds, and that's really light. It might be 10 pounds, it'd be really close. Or someone said 20, I don't know if 20, 10, it could be 10. It's really close, but there's a lot of junk that just takes up space. And so it's gone now, and we can continue with race car activities. Been Look at all this floor space! So many with aerobics in here, so many activities! And it should be really fun, but for now all the emission stuff is off that's all the things you need to know to be able to get your emissions off and work through it but otherwise this was very simple just a lot of junk and I, I'd imagine with the engine in the car it's gonna take you a lot longer to get all this stuff out all right so those are all the steps you need to know to be able to get the emissions off your Fox body Mustang or and those are the steps I took and the things that I got off the car um, it's really simple there's just a lot of junk to take off I think and if the engines in the car it's gonna be difficult because you're gonna have to fit your hands around certain spots and it'll be hard and there's a couple things in there that you don't really need to take out it's not gonna hurt anything like especially the charcoal canister it doesn't have to come out it probably does a good thing by cleaning or cleaning up your gas fumes so you're not smelling gas all the time but if you're doing race car things like I am, you don't need that stuff. Just throw it away. <laughs> but um, otherwise, it's very simple, very easy, and now we're at the end of the video. So if you found this helpful and you enjoyed it, please hit that big thumbs up. Just hit the thumbs up. It's good. <laughs> Just hit that thumbs up button and hit the big red subscribe button for more because we're going to keep working on this Mustang. We're going to get it with the new engine in it, and we're going to get the turbo on. 700 horsepower. It's going to be doing 700 horsepower, 9 second quarter miles in the near future. Okay, and so on the Sunday video, I am going to be finally painting the engine bay, or at least getting all the stuff moved out so I can paint. But that's coming up. That'll be this weekend. And I'm like excited because it's going to look good, but I'm not excited because it's all like wires and spaghetti everywhere. And that part doesn't make me feel well good and fuzzy inside <laughs> but that is the end of today's video thank you for watching and i will see you next time today we're going to be talking about the emissions on my fox body mustang and how to remove them uh i know Two very boring minutes later. What's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel.